the most important profession in the world today is coaching. Musicians and athletes and actors, athletes, I said actors, and uh, business people, CEOs and politicians, all have coaches. And the coaches help take them from where they're at to the next higher level. And you should have a coach. If you don't, you should. If you have one, you might consider having another one for another area of your life. So what is coaching? Coaching, there's a few people who claim to invented coaching, but Tony Robbins is one. He said, I, I invented coaching 20 years ago. Thomas Leonard supposedly invented coaching. You don't know about him, but he was quite a genius. He created Coachville, Coach U, the International Coach Federation that is the certification board for coaches. What coaching is, is a person, a coach is a person who you have an arrangement with. It's a business arrangement and you'll talk to them on some predetermined schedule, usually once a week. You'll have a coach for a particular aspect of your life. You might have a business coach or a finances coach or a relationship coach or a health coach, for example. Like a personal trainer is kind of a, a health coach in a slightly different way. So coaching, a co I keep swapping those. A coach is a person who will be a cheerleader for you when you succeed at what you're trying to do, which it sounds a little thin maybe, but if you have a success, you want some praise for it. You should have a celebration when you succeed at something. You really need that. It's positive reinforcement to keep going. Now, a coach is also the sort of a person who will keep you accountable. There are, who has something that you know you should do? I should really do this thing, and I really even want to, but for some reason I don't get around to it. Does anybody have one of those, like, I want to write a book. I really want to, and I would like to, but I don't quite get to it, right? Something like that. Or an exercise. I really should exercise, I know I want to, but I don't really get out there and do it as much as I want to. Accountability is having somebody who every week on the phone would go, how'd you do? You said you were going to exercise three times, did you get that done? You said you are going to write five pages, did you do that? And not any sort of, you're bad and wrong if you didn't, but let's see why you didn't. So that next week, you don't have that problem and you can really get it done. Accountability is one of the strongest factors in success. Having somebody that you're gonna tell, I did or I didn't do it, right? And another thing is challenge. Coaches are trained to challenge, trained to challenge you. So if I said, if you're the sort of person and you write five pages on your book every week and you already do that and you go, I really want to write 10. Okay, cool. But I haven't and I don't, you know, I haven't really. They'll challenge you. Okay, I want you to write 15 this week. Just this week. Next week you can go back to 10. This week write 15 just to see how it feels. A challenge, right? When, if you run a race against yourself, if you just run to a tree, from here 100 yards to a tree, compare that with I'm going to race somebody from here to the tree. Do I run faster when I have somebody to race against? Of course you do, right? A challenge is what makes you play harder, right? A coach is there to help you play harder. For example, I'm a coach. I've been a coach for two years. I started out sort of as a life coach. I help people. My main focus was purpose. What's your purpose in life? What do you want to do? What's your legacy going to be, right? When I on my deathbed, I want to be able to have people proud of me. I want to have a legacy. And I wanted to help people figure out what their purpose is. Not just for their deathbed, but for their life. You go to work every day, I want you to go and be happy about your work and jazzed about it. Feel like you're a contribution to the world in some way. Okay? So I've kind of changed that. I merged my tech background of about 15 or 18 years with my coaching. And now I'm a business coach and I help small businesses get started and I help them get over that technology fear. I'll help them make a little website, but I'll really empower them to run it, to manage it, to add and remove and delete content on their own, instead of having some you know, webmaster who charges them $200 an hour and gets to it whenever they want to. Empower them to handle it. And a coach, I'll train them a little bit, and I'll challenge them to do more all of the time, and I'll be there when they have successes and we'll celebrate. I ask if anybody would be willing to share a little bit of your life. And I'm just going to ask a question to you like, here's the question. 
tell me an area of your life where you're not advancing as fastly or as quickly as you'd like to be. Anybody like to play this game? My schoolwork. <clears throat> In your schoolwork. So what is it about your schoolwork that is not going as fast? Or how, why doesn't it work? Intimidating. I get scared of my textbook. <laughs> scared of your textbook. So what is it that you need to do or want to do? I just need spending more time with it. There's, there are no tricks. It's just more time. It's okay. More time. Just reading and studying. And lots and lots of practice time. Yeah. So as a coach, and, and, and Eric and I actually talked a little bit a few weeks ago, and I, I just jumped right into coaching mode. So, as, and I can't really do all this now, but it's what do you think stops you? From doing it, you said it's intimidating, but how's a book intimidating? Is this scary? It's, well, it's not right? how much I don't know. But reading the book, right? If you read it, you would know, <laughs> right? So it's it's its own problem. It's a ouroboros. Okay. It's a snake eating its own tail. Okay. But the more you read, the better you would do, right? So we would have to find a way that you could get that in the forefront of your head, like the value of doing it actually kills the problem. Right? The problem is itself. So you would have to. Just start, and as a coach, I would challenge you, just read five pages of this book. And then get back to me and report how you did. And if you didn't do it, we'll talk about why. Right? Does that make sense how that works? Right? You find out what's the stop, and as a coach, for my personal coaching, is I'm going to inspire you. I want to inspire you to get it. Who will you be once you have it completed? Right? Once you read all that, how will you feel? How will that be for you? And you'll be like, oh, that would be cool. I'd be smarter. I'd feel free. Okay. But this is a speech, not an entire coaching session, so I'll come back, to, come back to here. Now, benefits of coaching, you'll always have somebody in your corner, right, to cheer you, to be there for you, and to propel you and to push you, to keep you going. Successful people, like Morali said, all successful people actually have a coach. Sports stars obviously have a coach, right? They have a head coach and they have defensive coordinators and all sorts of coaches. But actors have acting coaches, and musicians have vocal coaches and such. And business people have business coaches. They have teams around them who will support them and challenge them and push them on. So it's because the way the world's structured now, it's very complex. It's very hard to be massively successful completely on your own. Bill Gates had a team, and he had people help him and push him as well. Okay? So if they can do it, you deserve that too. If you want to be massively successful and you want to have perfect relationship with your wife and with your kids and have your hobbies all awesome for you and your work be fantastic and start your own business, make millions of dollars, go get a coach. Thank you.